Hi everyone, welcome back to Nowhow. In today's video, I am going to show you how to use powerful Google Translate function in Excel. This feature can be incredibly handy when working with multilingual data or when you need to quickly translate text within your spreadsheet. This video consists of two parts. In the first part, I will elaborate how you can use Google Translate in Google Sheets. In the later part, I am going to show you how you can translate right within your Microsoft Excel installed in your PC or laptop. This is going to be a very special video, so don't go away and watch it till end. Don't forget to subscribe now how and press the bell icon for more videos. So to open the Google Sheet, first I have to open the Chrome browser. Then I have to click these dots on the right side of my window and then scroll it down and here I found this Google Sheets. After this I am gonna create a blank sheet. So this is the blank where we are going to apply the Google Translate. So first I am going to convert this name into Hindi language. For this purpose I will write equal Google Translate bracket start now the text that I want to convert, I will select the first name, then comma. In inverted commas, I will write the code of the source language that is English. So I will write EN, then comma, and then the target language, the language in which I want to convert. So if I am going to convert it into Hindi language, I will write its code that is HI in inverted commas, and then close this bracket and press enter. So you can see that the name is converted into Hindi language. Now, now drag it down to translate all the other names. After this, I am going to copy this formula. Go to the cell under the Urdu and paste it here. The only change this time I will do is the change the code of the target language. This time it is UR for Urdu and then press enter. The first name is converted. Now I am going to drag it down so that the all names are converted into Urdu language. So you can see that all names are translated into Urdu language. Same is the case for the Tamil and Japanese language. The only difference is the coding. The code for the Tamil language is T A and the code for Japanese language is J A. So you can see that we can easily translate data from one language to the other language. An important point to mention over here is that how you can detect the language. For this purpose you can use the formula is equal detect language and then write the cell which you want to detect. For example, I want to detect this language. I will select it, close the bracket and press and Now you can see that it is telling me that it is written in JA which is a code for the Japanese. You can search the code of any language in the Google search. Not only the names you can translate but you can also translate the small phrases. Like for example, these are the small sentences in English that I want to convert them into Japanese language. So I will write the formula that is equal to Google Translate and then the cell that is B3, comma, the source language is English and the new language is JA. In inverted commas, then I press the enter and now you can see that it is translated into the Japanese language and the other sentences can also be translated very easily. You don't need to go to other software to convert these small sentences or phrases. You can do it within the Excel. Now I am going to tell you how you can do all this within the Excel that is installed in your PC or laptop. Before we get started, make sure the developer tab is visible in your Excel ribbon. If it's not, don't worry, 
I am going to tell you how you can do it. First, you have to go to the file and then you have to go to the options. Under the options, go to the customize ribbon and then select this developer and press OK. So now you can see that the developer tab is right next to the view tab in your Excel. After you have enabled developer, then go to the developer. Click the visual basics. And here you have to click insert. And then go to modules. Now it's time to write the code that will allow us to use Google Translate function in the Excel. Don't worry if you are not familiar with the coding. I will guide you through it. I have given the code in the description. You can copy and paste the code over here. So I'm going to paste the code over here. This is the code that will enable the Google Translate in your workbook. So after pasting the first part of the code, now I'm going to paste the second part of this code. Now, and this code basically specify the cells that we want to translate and the language that we want to translate. For example, if I have written in the cell A1 to A13, the other thing is that if I want to translate it from the English language to the Urdu language, then I will change the target language to UR Urdu, which is a code for Urdu. And then I have to simply run it. After this, you just have to close these windows and you can see that the names are translated into Urdu language. The only limitation in this method is that you must have to install both the source language and the language in which you want to convert. For example, I have only installed these two languages in my PC, in my laptop, so I can only convert between the English and Urdu. If I want to convert from English to other language, I have to install those languages in my PC, then I can translate in those languages. And there you have it. You have learned how to use Google Translate function in Excel. This powerful feature can save your time and efforts when working with multilingual data or when you need to quickly translate within the spreadsheet. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and encourage you to give it a try in your own Excel project. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more helpful tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Happy translating.